Finals. Finals against tokens. Let's do it. I think this matchup's hard. I think Teamer Battle Rage is pretty important. As is Land War Elves for getting under them. Teamer, Teamer Battle Rage, I mean Hadana's Clan. That's what I'm referring to this card as. Uh, this hand's missing a second green source, but it's got... It's got the tools I'm looking for, so we're definitely going to go ahead and keep this. Yep, it's better for us than Legion Landing. We'll see what their opener looks like. I probably want to just get Climb going ASAP and make my creatures big enough to be attacking in every turn. Yep. Kinda hoping this Murpho Branch Walker hits the spell so it can be a 3-2. Um, huh. I think I'm actually in the market for a Landmore Elf here. It lets me go Merfolk Branchwalker plus Landmore Elf next turn and kind of get ramped up. Yep. Get this Hydroid Crisis down as a big in first. I'm gonna go ahead and lead on this in case I hit a green source that doesn't have to deal damage to me. Uh, not quite looking for a Ravager Worm yet, I don't think. Uh, I think I'm happy with this trade, so I'm going to go ahead and offer it. I'm happy for two one ones or a 2-2 here. They have Tristani on curve. I'm probably in trouble with their opener. It's going to take my 3-2 and then hit me for 4. Yep. This punishes this attack a little bit. That's a pretty good draw. Is it? Yeah, I guess it's most resource efficient to cast this this turn. Second climb is pretty bad here for us. Looking to dodge Tristani. If they have Tristani, it's going to be a quick one. Yeah, I think we're dead here. This is 12. I could just chump block with this elf. And then next turn play the Jade Light Ranger. And these things are only going to be 3-3s. Three I think I just chump block here and keep the Zagana as a 4-4 four four to keep their 3-3s three at bay next turn, hopefully. I think we're probably done here. This is a really aggressive start on the play from them. I don't really have tools to... If they have a Conclave Tribunal... So, yeah, we're done here. Hmm. I think collisions a cut here. I think I want these Brontodons. Part of me wonders if I want these disdainful strokes. Wild Earth Walker seems like it would be really good if we can get it going. I definitely don't want to cut either of these. They kind of give me be trample damage. I wonder if Ravager Worm is not worth keeping in here. They don't have that many individually powerful cards. It's like just Tristani. And a lot of their cards that I want to kill with this, I think I'd rather just Disdainful Stroke. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. I'm just going to turn into blue-green. <laughs> let's, give, let's give this a try. Probably. I talk about how we're ahead this game because we're on the play, but that's just like magic in general, right? Being on the play. 
plays pretty good. Yeah, I think the sand is the cards we're looking for. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and incubation on one, digging for a two drop. Um, hopefully find a land war elf to either get us to three guaranteed or a merfolk branch walker in order to help us explore into a third land. Hopefully we just have an aggressive start with climb on the plane, kind of run them out like they ran us run, ran us out last game. Earth chamber guardian's not a terrible hit either if we can draw a third land naturally. Land war elf is fine. It guarantees that we have three mana on turn three. Well, kind of. They could baffling end our land war elf. This incubation is probably digging again for me. I don't think incubation is very good as a removal spell in this matchup. Um, huh. I drew the land. I'm going to go ahead and take the growth chamber guardian here, actually, because growth chamber is pretty good alongside the Sedona's climb. It can make a bunch of 3 3s that get to pressure in nicely. Um, Jade Light Ranger in case we had a shock land, so we put that into the depths. Looking for a land drop. Perfect. Put land that they know about. Getting getting a land and a spell is kind of ideal there, because having a second point of toughness lets it block these uh, these tokens nicely, which is ideal. Next turn I get to go uh, Growth Chamber Guardian plus Hadana's Climb trigger the Growth Chamber Guardian, which is great. Kind of start going wide in addition to threatening to go tall with the Hadana's Climb. The following turn, I can play the next Guardian, floop it, hit it with Climb, flip the Climb, which is good. Okay, yep. We're still in an okay spot here. So I do this, do this. Double, double Crisis lets us go up over the top, which is nice. And the flipped Climb lets us, uh... The flipped Climb lets us ramp into a bigger Crisis and draw more cards, which is great. Opponent will have baffling ends post board to help deal with the crisis. We could see a conclave tribunal here on my climb, which wouldn't be the best for us. I guess if they if they tribunal my climb this turn, I probably just play a crisis for four next turn to like guess up a little bit and uh, put a four four into play. I think if they leave climb in play, I'm gonna go sulfur falls growth chamber adapt growth chamber climb on growth chamber flip it, so like get a five five out. That being said, they definitely have four March of the Multitudes in their deck, so if they have that on curve here, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Amara seems okay for us. If they have Land March, I'm still in a little bit of trouble. This could be Amara into Conclave. Yep, makes a token for them. I assume we're going to see Climb go away here since it's one of our better cards. I don't think we'll see the Lockstone attack, because they attack with the Lockstone, and it's like trading their 4-4 four, four for my 3-3. Three, three. They, they could exile the Growth Chamber Guardian and get aggressive and smack me for 4. Okay. You know, if they have another removal spell here... They have another removal spell here, making this a 5-5 is not a particularly good line. I'm going to go ahead and do this and grab another one. And then I'm going to go ahead and play this Jade Light Ranger that I... Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did it just go to my combat? Why didn't it... Oh, I'm in, I'm in my combat, sorry. I know what I'm doing. It's climb triggered in my combat. I don't want to attack, so... Sorry, it's been it's been a long day. Too main. All right, so Jade Light Ranger, Jade Light Ranger dig for lands. I guess I should have um, I should have done this before I played my land for the turn, so I could have hit a could have hit a, a shock land there. Um, Hydroid Crisis. Do I have time for this many Crisis? I might. So I have five, six, seven. I think I do. I might not have enough time for this many creases. So what I can do 
They, they're missing their land, too, which means Tristani is not on the horizon just yet, which is good for us. So next turn, I can Krasis for four, climb the Krasis, flip the climb, and then play the Rootbound Crag and play the Growth Chamber Guardian out afterwards. Them burning that with the crisis on top feels a little telling like they could have more removal. On this attack here, I think I go trade each your 1 1, take 8, go to 6. And then crisis is going to jump me back up 2 to 8. So I'm going to go ahead and crisis for 4 here. Which uses my elf, puts me to eight. Then the climb's gonna go ahead and target here, which flips the climb, no attacks. So then I get to play this and play this. And then if they don't have another removal spell, I'm in, I'm in, I'm home free. If they do have a removal spell, we're still on the back foot, which kind of sucks, but maybe these graces can pull us through. They hit the fifth land, which opens up Tristani as a thing that they can do now. Next turn, I have nine mana available, which means I can Krasis for six and still leave Landmore Elf up as a blocker. I definitely, I almost certainly want to start leaving Landmore Elf up as a blocker. It's also possible I might want to Krasis for only four again, so I can go ahead and make the Growth Chamber Guardian a 4-4. Four, four. But I also might need to just trade off the Growth Chamber Guardian in combat this turn. We'll see what they do. If they, if they pump the brakes this turn, it's really good for us. They are pumping the brakes, so... Unless they have a copy of uh, March of the Multitudes, we're in a good spot. And they're either in full control mode or they have a March of the Multitudes here, which is a little scary. I think I just do this for six. Go up to 11, make another big blocker. If they have March, it's going to be for four, and then we're kind of going to kind of be up a creek. Double Wild Growth Walker with Merfolk Branch Walker could give us the breathing room that we need to stabilize this game if they have March of the Multitudes here. If they don't have March, we're in a really good spot. If they do have March, we're gonna need we're gonna need to fade Tristani for a turn, I think. So they end step March, rip Tristani, we're gonna die. But if we get to untap with double branch double triple triple walker basically, we should be home free. And then we have to try and win a game on the draw. Yep, there's the march. Okay. Do you have a Tristani? If they don't have Tristani, I don't think they have good attacks this turn. If they don't have good attacks this turn, I then get to deploy three blockers, which is great for me. Even even in the face of history of Benalia popping off, I think once I like go walker, walker. Merfolk Branch Walker and like gain six and have like a two fours. And like, God forbid, I draw like a Jade Light Ranger or another way to uh, to trigger these walkers. That's a second Hadana's Climb. Do I have lethal? Do they have any way to kill my stuff? I think I have lethal. This doubles this to 12. So if I play, if I play a land, Play this, and the elf gives me enough, right? Said I was gonna draw Teamer Battle Rage and kill them. We have zero cards in their deck that interact with us at instant speed, right? Actual factual zero cards. So if I do this, I have six mana left over, which is how much I need. Target this, flips over, keep the new one. Increases turns into 26 26, and attacks really full. Dunk! Alright, game three. Alright. Woo! Woo! Alright. Exact, exactly enough mana. Deep breaths. Alright, alright, take some water. I need, I just, I need a second.
think I'm happy with how I sideboarded. I think I'm happy with how I sideboarded. I think I'm happy with how I sideboarded. I'm gonna click submit. The math on double climb is double your biggest creature, add one, double it again. So if you start with, if you start with X, you end up with uh, two times two X plus one. That's, that's just good television chat. That's just good television. All right, now I just need my opponent to mulligan to four or five, so we can uh, run them over. <sighs> all the all the six spell hands look really good. I'm gl I'm almost glad in a way that the sulfur falls isn't a green source, so that way I am not tempted to keep this hand and then die with it. This hand is very good. I'm gonna keep that. Our, our lands are a little bit painful, but I do get to go land war elves and then tap shock land merfolk branch walker, so that's really good here. Are you thinking about baffling ending my elf? I'd prefer they didn't. Light Ranger, that's really good too. I'm actually gonna go ahead and Jade Light Ranger here because if this hits two spells, Glime well, can flip next turn. How important is it that I flip Climb next turn? I think pretty important is the answer. So I'm gonna put this back on top of my deck and then I'm going to discard it. I'm nowhere near enough lands to think about setting up a double Climb kill again. I'm a little bit sad about my decision there if they exile my Jade Light Ranger this turn. But if they don't exile my Jade Light Ranger, I'm in a good spot. This could be a... looks like a Conclave Tribunal, though, which is bad for me. Oh, Venerated Luxon. That's still not great for me, but better than it could have been. Third climb. Yikes. Alright, so punish for being cheeky, maybe. No attack. Play this, play this. Taking six for my mana this game. I have some defense. I can increase this for four next turn. There goes my five four. So we're dead. I think we're dead. I think we've died. I'm gonna take uh, 10 on this attack. Go to four, trade with their two two. It was a good run. Game two is sweet. Like a fart in the wind, it was gone. Yeah, I just, I don't think I can beat a start that aggressive on the draw. But if maybe, if they didn't have the removal spell, we might have been able to stick through it, but pretty sure we're done here, right? So I can like, Crisis for three, gain one up to five, have two blockers, take six. I can Crisis for four up to six, have one blocker, take eight. Yeah, I could do to opponent. It was a fun tournament. Thanks everyone for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. I wasn't a fantastic content producer today, but uh, I'll be back to my normal stuff tomorrow. Remember, if you enjoy my stuff, please check out uh, my website, jeffhoagland.com. You can find a ton of my videos there. Also, big shout out to my subs and resubs. I wouldn't be here day in and day out without their wonderful support. They are quite literally the folks who keep me employed. And of course, it wouldn't be a reasonable stream without plugging some of these people. These folks are great by their stuff. These folks also great by their stuff. Thanks for watching, folks. I'm going to be all done for the day, so uh, everybody have a good one.